So a short linear object of length L lies along the axis of a concave mirror at a distance u from its pole. Now if v is the distance of the image from the mirror, then you have to find out what is the length of the image. So recall longitudinal magnification, where we found out that the longitudinal magnification is minus m square, right, which is minus v square by u square. And we were getting this formula by simply differentiating the mirror formula and using the chain rule. Remember, right? So the magnitude of the longitudinal magnification is just v square by u square. And let me talk about this negative sign a little bit. So if this is the object which is placed like this, AB, then the image will be A dash B dash. And this information is encapsulated by the negative sign. All right. So DU is given to you as L, right? And what is the longitudinal magnification? This is the length of the image divided by the length of the object. So this is the length of the image that we want to find. And this is going to be equal to v square by u square. So this distance is u and this distance is v. Do note that this is only applicable for very small lengths. All right. And from here, can you see that the length of the image comes out to be v by u whole square into the length of the object L. And that's it. So in this simple problem, we found out that the size of the image or the length of the image is going to be v square by u square into L. So a person standing in front of a spherical mirror observes that the size of the image of his face is twice the actual size of his face. If the face is at a distance 20 cm from the mirror, then you have to tell the nature of the mirror and find out its radius of curvature. So it happens something like this. Do note that this is the image as observed by the person and not you. Okay. So tell me, what is the nature of this image? Is it virtual or is it real? Now, when you stand in front of a plane mirror, then you see your image, right? Although the size is the same, but the image that you see is virtual, right? And in this case also, the image observed by the person is virtual. Now, what do you think? What type of mirror is it? Is it convex mirror or a concave mirror? So the concept of this problem is that the image formed by convex mirrors is virtual, erect, and diminished for all locations of any object. Now tell me, what type of mirror is it? Okay, you might be thinking, the mirror in picture is a concave mirror. So why the key concept involves a convex mirror, right? Let me tell you. The keyword here is diminished. The image formed by any convex mirror is going to be smaller in size as compared to the object size. But did you notice in this problem, the image is magnified. In fact, it is twice as large as the size of the object. So the mirror in picture is a concave mirror and the object is placed between pole and focus of this mirror 
like this. Remember the shaving mirror, right? So we found out that the mirror is concave. And let's do a little bit of mathematics to find out what is the radius of curvature of this mirror. So what has been given to you in this case? In this case, the image is virtual and erect and twice in size. So the magnification is plus two. And we also know that the distance of the object from the pole of the mirror is 20 centimeter, right? And with sign, it is going to be minus 20 centimeter. So let's use this formula to find out what is the value of the focal length f because the twice of it is going to be the radius of curvature, right? So let's put the values here. M is 2 and this is going to be f divided by f minus minus 20, which is plus 20, right? Let's simplify this. So 2f plus 40 is equal to f. And can you see f comes out to be minus 40 centimeter, where negative sign itself indicates that the type of mirror is concave. And from here, the magnitude of the radius of curvature comes out to be twice the focal length, that is 80 centimeter. So I hope you understand this problem. And you can take option A in this case as the right option. According to this problem, there is a concave mirror whose focal length is 10 centimeter. And it has been mentioned that this mirror produces an image which can be obtained on the screen. So what type of image do you think it is? Real or virtual? Well, you know that only real images can be obtained on screen, right? So indirectly, the question is telling you that the image formed is real and inverted. Now, given that the image size is four times the size of the object, you have to find out what is the distance of this object from the pole of the concave mirror. Now, tell me one thing. If the image is real, inverted and magnified, then where do you think the object is? Beyond C or between C and F? Well, the object is placed between C and F. And that's how you obtain a real inverted and magnified image of the object. Right? So in this case, the value of magnification is going to be minus 4 and the focal length is minus 10 centimeter. So to find out the value of U, we can use the formula M is equal to F divided by F minus U. So let's put the values. So minus 4 is going to be equal to minus 10 divided by minus 10 minus u. And we are not putting u with sign. So expectedly, we will get u with a negative sign, right? So this is going to be 40 plus 4u is equal to minus 10. And u comes out to be minus 12.5 centimeter. So what is the distance of the object from the, from the pole of the mirror? Yes, 12.5 centimeter. So what do we have here? We have a wire which is bent into square shape of side 3 centimeter and placed at 25 centimeter in front of a concave mirror. The focal length of this concave mirror is 10 centimeter. Now the square wireframe is placed with one of its edge on the principal axis of the mirror and it's plane normal to the principal axis. You have to find out what is the area enclosed by the image of the wire. So the situation looks like this. Can you see all four sides of this square frame are perpendicular to the principal axis? And in this case, the magnification of all the sides 
will be same. So the image will also be in the form of a square frame. And it is going to look like this. Right? Because you can see that U is 25 centimeter and the radius of curvature is 20 centimeter. So the object is placed beyond C and the image will be obtained between C and F. The nature is going to be real, inverted and smaller in size. Right? So if we can find out the value of lateral magnification M, then we can find what is the area enclosed by the image of this square frame. So let's do that. So we have U, F and the length of each side of the square frame. So by the help of mirror formula and magnification, we found out that M is F divided by F minus U. Remember? So let's put the values. So in this case, the lateral magnification of all the sides of the square frame is going to be, so this is minus 10 divided by minus 10 minus minus plus 25, right? This comes out to be minus 2 by 3. So the magnitude of lateral magnification is 2 by 3 and the length of the square frame of the image, right? So image is also a square frame. The length is going to be, so this is Li by Lo, right? From here and let's take the magnitude of magnification because we already know that the image would be inverted. So Li comes out to be 2 centimeter. So the image which is a square frame will have the side of length 2 cm and the area is going to be 4 cm square. So what's the takeaway for this problem? Well the takeaway is that the linear magnification is applicable to all sides of the square frame because the square frame is perpendicular to the principal axis. So the image obtained is also a square and the area is 4 cm square. So you have a convex mirror whose radius of curvature is given to you as 60 cm. Now when the object is placed at B in front of this mirror, then the image is obtained at B dash. Given that the size of the image is half that of the object, you have to find out the distance between the object and its image. Now recall that the focus of a convex mirror lies behind the mirror, right? And the focal length is positive. So in this case, this is how the ray diagram looks like. So this is U and this is V. And you have to find out what is mod U plus mod V, right? So with the help of the radius of curvature, we can find out the focal length of this convex mirror, which is going to be R by 2, that is 30 centimeter. And if the image size is half to that of the object size, then the magnification is 1 by 2 with the positive sign, right? Because the image is virtual and erect. So by using the formula m is equal to f divided by f minus u, we can find out what is u first. So the magnification is plus 1 by 2 and this is going to be the focal length is plus 30. So 30 divided by 30 minus u. All right. Let's simplify this. This is going to be 30 minus u is equal to 60. So u comes out to be minus 30 centimeter. And now with the help of this, we can find out what is V. How? Well, we know one more variation of the magnification in case of mirrors, right? So magnification is also minus V by U. So 1 by 2 is equal to minus V divided by minus 30. 
So V comes out to be 15 centimeter with a positive sign indicating that the image is formed behind the mirror and the image is virtual. So 30 plus 15 is 45 centimeter and this is the distance between the object and its image. So in this case, option C must be right.